guys, welcome back. Uh, Lori here on Vancouver Island, and we are back to pour some more paint. And let's see, I um, what did you think of those records? Those were pretty fabulous, weren't they? Um, I've got six more to do, but first I need to uh, watch a video and learn how to take off the labels because on the purple ones, it shows through a little bit. And um, I'll show you after I resin them and stuff. It actually looks good because they're they're purple and uh, and the labels were red. And so it's actually showing through as a little bit of a peachy color underneath, kind of giving it some dimension. So um, they'll work out, but uh, I haven't looked at the labels on the other six records that I have. So I'll have to look. If they're bright red though, I will definitely have to figure out how to take them off. So anyway, I thought I was out of trivet boards, but I found two more that I have, and they're actually the same size, exactly the same size, and the same thickness and everything, so I'm going to do a dual pour on them, and um, I'm going to do a Dutch pour again, because really that's, my paint is that mixed to that consistency right now, so... Um, you know, I think I want to go back and try some more chain pulls and stuff pretty soon. Actually, there's a challenge this month um, that I'm going to try out in one of my acrylic pouring groups. I'm going to try the challenge. Um, and I've written it down, but it will require me to do a chain pull because it's the only way I know how to do a flower. Um, and I don't really know how to do a flower, but without doing a dip, right? Like I can do a dip and do a flower, but... Um, no dip, no dipping allowed. So anyway, I'm going to do a Dutch pour today and I'm going to use my purples, but I'm moving on and doing a copper series now. So I'm going to do several, four at least videos that use my copper. And then I'm going to stick with the one color theme because that is actually helping me out a lot with getting some beautiful results and learning about how the the colors mix with the metallics so um that's just as important right because you got to have a neutral in there so when you have a neutral um it's all better and the metallic supposedly provides cells so anyway i've been babbling long enough i'm going to put you up in the other camera and we are going to get started and pour some paint yay <laughs> there we go that's better okay so I'll have to try to remember to not put my big fat head in your way um, while I'm blowing but you know usually with my Dutch pours on these bigger canvases I use um, I use either my blow dryer or my little blower so oh, I'm getting bubbles and bubbles and bubbles in my paint I've got a little corner here that's not covered. Okay, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a V. Um, and then blow it out this way and blow it out that way. <laughs> I guess. Um, that's what we're going to try anyway, or that's what I'm going to try. Uh, let's see what happens.
Oh my gosh, it's totally awesome. A little bit too much white here, so I'm going to see what I can do. Um, and I might end up just putting some more, a little bit more paint here and blowing it out again. But I'm going to try torching it first to see if, um, if I get some color. This I'm totally in love with. So, um, let's see what happens. So these are just stunning, <laughs> I think. Anyway, um, we've got some little bit of cells coming on here, which, but not too many, which is good because I'm not, as you know, a super huge fan of cells. But look at, look at that beautifulness. Like those colors are just gorgeous, aren't they? My goodness. And that purple, loving that. What is that? That dioxazine purple. That is fabulous. Now I couldn't really use my blower because it died completely. Like just, <laughs> I guess I should have realized it was putzing out the last time I used it. But anyway, so let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up button if you're able to. I know it's tough to leave a comment. I can watch all day long and leave thumbs up, but I can't leave any comments through my TV. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. If you know how to do that, I would be happy to leave more comments on, on your videos. But um, anyway, barring that, a thumbs up will do for sure. And a share. Uh, shares are always fabulous. Uh, trying to get up to 100 subscribers. I had 65 this morning. Um, so, woohoo! We're, we're more than halfway there. So, yay, yay, yay. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day and take care of you. Bye now.